In this video tutorial, we will discuss top 10 Python programs useful to Python beginners with practical demonstrations. This will help you to learn basic syntax of Python programming. You need a Python interpreter to run Python programs. This is possible in two mode, offline mode or online mode. You can install any one of this software in your computer or you can use any one of this tool to run your program online. To learn how to use IDLE, Google Colab or Jupyter Notebook online, you can refer links given in the description of this video. Let's start Python programming journey with top 10 Python programs. Let's write our first Python program to print welcome message. I'm going to use IDLE software to execute this program. This is IDLE software and this is Python prompt. This is the place where we write our Python code. To print any message, we will use print function. And as a part of print function, we will write a message that we want to print. Welcome students. And then just press enter. You will get your output on your screen. So print function is used to print any message on your output screen. Let's write second Python program to read and print your name and address. Objective of this program is to understand use of input function and Python variables. I'm going to use IDLE software again. IDLE software prompt is suitable to write a very small program like this. If you want to write a slightly longer programs, it is better to use a new file. So now I'm going to write Python program in this file. To read name from keyboard, write code name equal to input. Inside input function, some appropriate message like enter your name. This input function will allow us to enter name from keyboard and that will be saved in this name variable. Let's declare one more variable address. Once again input function to read address from user. Enter your address. This input function will allow us to enter address from keyboard and that will be saved here. After reading name and address, use print function to print your name and address. So these two print functions will print name and address. Our program is ready. Now let's save our program. Give appropriate name, input demo and save this. Let's run this code now. This will ask us to enter name and then address. And you can see this is the name and address which is printed because of these two print statements. That's it. I have started my Google Colab online tool. We will write Python program to display good morning message based on given time. Objective of this program is to understand if statement. To implement this program, Let's create one time variable and then we will read this value from user using input function. Enter time. And as this input is a number, we will write int before this input function. So this input function will allow us to enter time. Then we use one if statement to check if time is less than 12. In that case, print good morning message. To run your program, just click on this run cell button. Enter your time, let's enter 10. And this will print good morning as our output. 
let's extend this code if time is greater than or equal to 12 in that case print good day now let's run this code again let's enter time as 14 in this case this print function will be executed so depending on the time that we are entering corresponding print function will be executed that is why this is called decision making statement depending on this condition programs are taking decision what to print good morning or good day to write a new program click on plus code button now we will write a python program to display good morning message based on given time here the objective is to learn if else statement we will use same logic to read time instead of this two if statements now we will use if else statement something like this so we don't have to write two separate if statements when we run this this line will allow us to read time then condition will be checked if this condition is true good morning will be displayed if this condition is false good day will be displayed so let's run this code now this will ask us to enter time first we will enter 10 so this will print good morning let's run it again this time we will enter 14 and this will display good day so corresponding message will be displayed depending on the time entered by user program number five in this program we will print hello message five times objective is to learn use of for loop statement write for loop for i in range 5 and then print double quote hello just run your code and see what will happen this will print hello world five times if we write here three this will print hello world three times if we write here 10 it will display hello world 10 times so this is a for loop statement this range function will allow us to control number of times we want to execute this print function let's write python program to print 1 to 10 numbers we will use for loop again for i in range 1 comma 10 this time we will specify range 1 to 10 and then print i just observe the output this will print 1 to 9 this range function will start printing from 1 and will end before 10 so if you want to print 10 also write here 11 so this will print 1 to 10 as your output now to print 1 to 10 in a single line what you can do is specify here and equal to one space let's run it again and just observe your output 1 to 10 let's write python program to print 10 to 1 numbers we will use for loop again but this time a different form of range function we want to start the first number as 10 we want to stop at 1 and minus 1 as our step so the first number will be printed 10 then minus 1 is 9 then 8 likewise 10 to 1 will be printed let's execute this code this will print 10 to 1 just observe I'm specifying minus 2 here let's run this code again so the first number will be printed as 10 minus 2 is 8 minus 2 6 minus 2 4 and minus 2 
so this is how you can change your step to specify what you want to print your starting number will remain same and this is your step 10 minus 3 you will get 7 7 minus 3 you will get 4 and 4 minus 1 you will get 1 so this is how you can use this range function with step program number 8 let's print a to z using for loop I'm going to use very similar logic first here the ASCII value of A is 65 and ASCII value of Z is 90 so if we execute this code just observe we will get numbers 65 to 90 now instead of printing this I I will use one more function called CHR this CHR function will convert this number into a character so now just observe output this 65 will be converted into a 66 will be converted into b and likewise this will print a to z program number 9 we will print 1 to 10 using while loop concept for that let's declare one variable number with one value then we write a while loop while value of number is less than or equal to 10 print number and then increment value of number by adding in 1 let's execute this program first to print 1 to 10 in one line you can write here and equal to space let's run the table last program to print corresponding word of a given number if user enters one we will print o n e one word objective is to learn if elif else statement i have already typed a code to save our time this statement will read a number from user in range of one to five let's execute this code first if we enter one this will print one one let's run it again if we enter three this will print three and if we enter seven for example in that case this will print this corresponding message let's understand this code depending on the condition which is true for example if we enter one this print will be executed if number is not 1, the second condition will be checked. If number is not 2, third condition will be checked. This is how if elif statement is actually working and when none of the conditions are true, in that case, the final print function will be executed.